dribbling in the defense. I'm sure many of you have had a situation where you've given up that ball in the defense with your defender because you just do not know how to dribble in that area of the pitch. Well, there is a specific technique with left stick dribbling which would get you out of sticky situations in the defense with either your center back or your wing back. And lads, of course, we're about to teach you. Griezmann, three men around him to somehow find some space for another fantastic opening. The drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. It almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! Oh! It's a display there. It's absolutely ridiculous. The last go on the goal line. On the goal line. The finest. We talked about Ozzy Cooper. He's not here to make up the numbers. Intercepting the ball and jogging directly backwards towards your own goal with the attacker behind you and waiting for him to pick a side to attempt to tackle the ball off you to then go the opposite side to where he has chosen and get away from him. When I receive the ball with my center back or wing back and I have an attacker on my back, he's pressuring me and I'm not sure what to do. Yes, you could pass back to the goalkeeper, but if you're looking for a way to turn around and progress up the pitch with your attack, a very good way of doing this is as I said, running directly backwards, waiting for the opponent to commit too far to the left or to the right. And that happens when they've chosen a side to go to attempt to wrap their foot around and tackle the ball. You then want to read this as they pick a side and attempt to tackle you and then go the opposite side. And the way you do that is by going directly backwards and then chopping the left stick to the left or to the right to get away from him and pass to the nearest attacker who is waiting for the ball. It is also important that you keep your back towards the attacker and of course when you're chopping the stick you don't want to go directly to the left or to the right. You want to go a little bit diagonal so that their back is still facing towards the attacker but you're also selling them with the feint. So you're going left to right or right to left and this will enable you to keep the ball whilst also feinting the attacker away and progressing up the pitch. Now they don't commit too far to the left or to the right and they are actually quite tight on you and are not attempting to wrap their foot around you but in fact go in from behind. What you can do is do a feint. So you can go right and then left or left and then right and you do that by chopping the left stick and what this will do is the original side that you chose to dribble whether that's left or right the attacker will actually go towards that side okay because he is right on you tight on you and he's attempting to get the ball from you from behind which means he's following your movements directly so if we go to the left or to the right of where the player is facing and then go the opposite way. You're gonna go one way, make the defender go that way, and then sell him by then going the opposite way. And this will get away from him, which will allow you to progress up the pitch and make a pass to the opposite attacker. I think one thing you guys need to bear in mind when you are doing this technique is to keep calm and in general anytime you're in the defense and have the ball with your center bats or wing bats keep calm lads there's no need to panic there's no need to rush you've got time worst comes to worst pass to your goalkeeper but if you're wanting to dribble out from the back and this is a very very good way of doing this and selling the attacker as he is attempting to make that tackle and one thing that is also important to bear in mind is that the attacker doesn't have good jockeying stats they don't have good defense they don't have good defensive awareness or anything like that which means you can exploit this and get away from that attacker before it's too late and you actually give up the ball in a vulnerable situation so there you have it lads that's how to dribble out from the back in fever 22 with your defenders i find it's a very very effective way of getting away from them and actually playing out from the back which i find is a very very effective way of attacking in fever 22 because personally i'm a possession style player as i know a lot of you guys are as well but that will signal the end of this episode episode i hope you enjoyed it i'm also doing tutorials on instagram and tiktok go and check them out links are in the description down below i also have a twitter account go and follow me over there we can keep in touch lads but as always i hope you have a good day i'm out sayonara au revoir adios salam ciao and before i get i am coaching as well on patreon i launched it this week lads if you want personal coaching i am now delivering it so go and check it out link is in the description down below